Prime Minister Narendra Modi lays the foundation stone for the Delhi Merit Expressway project. The ambitious 14-lane expressway project is expected to decongest National Highway 24. The massive infrastructure project is estimated to be completed within a time span of three years. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the Delhi Dasna Merit Expressway will pave the way for a pollution-free future. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has urged all political parties to take a resolution for 2016 that they will let parliament function and work for the benefit of poor. Speaking further on parliament disruptions, PM has said that those who ruled India for 60 years have no right to disrupt parliament functioning. Home Ministry has overruled the suspension of two Danik Skeda officers as ordered by Delhi government earlier. Danik Skeda officials had declared mass leave in protest of suspension of two of their colleagues. Home Ministry's order comes following a reference to this effect by the Lieutenant Governor. Home Ministry's order comes following a reference to this effect by Lieutenant Governor Najib Jang today, declaring Delhi government suspension order against two Daniks null and void. Amid rising pollution in Delhi, people are gearing up for the rollout of odd-even formula for commuting of cars. Under the formula to be launched tomorrow, cars with odd-numbered license plates will be allowed to apply in the city on odd-numbered dates and vice versa. Those who violate these norms would be fined 2,000 rupees. In order to ensure strict implementation of the odd-even plan, Delhi government has issued an order to various agencies including the DMRC and the civic bodies asking them to allow in their parking lots only odd even numbered cards on subsequent odd even dates. If parking agencies are found flawed in government's directive, strict action has been contemplated against them. Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has said that direct transfer of subsidy for LPG can help reduce black marketing and hoarding. He further said that 58 lakh people have so far given up their LPG subsidy following Prime Minister's appeal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has interacted with secretaries to the government of India. PM has appreciated the work done by the secretaries over the last year and a half. He has said that the vast expertise of the secretaries in various domains of the government should now be leveraged to bring out breakthroughs rather than incremental changes. In Tamil Nadu, Chief Minister Jayalalitha has been unanimously elected as AIA DMK Party General Secretary for the seventh time. The party has also authorized Jayalalitha to chalk out strategies on facing assembly polls next year. Fourteen resolutions have been passed in party's general council meet. Prime Minister of Nepal KP Sharma Oli called Prime Minister Narendra Modi over telephone and briefed him on the political developments in Nepal. During the call between the two leaders, Prime Minister Modi emphasized the importance of finding a durable solution to the political problems that Nepal is facing based on consensus. Security has been beefed up across India ahead of New Year celebrations today. Police teams carried out stringent security checks at crowded places to avoid any untoward incident. Drivers were checked for excessive alcohol consumption. The world has begun celebrating the start of a new year with revelers in Australia and New Zealand, some of the first to usher in 2016. As the new year sweeps across Asia, Hong Kong, Singapore, Beijing and other major cities will kick off their own grand celebrations. Qatar has agreed to lower the price of gas it sells to India on a long-term contract by about $6 billion to reflect the slump in global energy rates and also waived the rupees 12,000 crore penalty for shortlifting in 2015. Meanwhile, Oil Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has said the rework formula will apply to 7.5 million tons a year if LNG India buys from Ras Gas on a long-term contract ending in April 2028. Police in Brussels have detained six people in connection with an alleged plot to target the city on New Year's Eve. The city's main fireworks display has been cancelled over the feared plot. Good news for consumers on New Year's Eve. Petrol price slashed by 63 paise per litre and diesel price cut by Rs 1.06 per litre. The new price will be effective from midnight. In the first semi-finals of South Asian Football Federation Cup, India beat Maldives 3-2. India held on in the end to make it to their 10th SAFF Cup final.